applying the 140cc large wound kit. The advanced wound kit technology from Calypto Medical is designed for use specifically with the NPD-1000 negative pressure wound therapy system. This proprietary wound kit technology has a semi-occlusive laminate cover with a urethane inner layer to maintain negative pressure, a medical tape outer layer to give the wound kit strength and flexibility, a pump port with an inline hydrophobic antimicrobial filter, a super-absorbing pad to trap exudate, a hydrogel gasket to provide an airtight seal around the wound, and a minimally adherent silver lawn contact layer to address microbial contamination on the surface of the wound. This wound kit also comes with 6-inch pigtail tubing that attaches to the pump port. Begin by carefully inspecting the wound to make sure there are no contraindications present. If you find a contraindication, you should select a different treatment for the patient's wound. Next, clip any hair that may come in contact with the wound kit for a better seal and patient comfort. After that, clean the wound bed according to the facility's protocol for applying a negative pressure wound therapy wound kit. Take special care to ensure all the skin that will be covered by the wound kit is adequately clean and dry. It is recommended that you use an alcohol-based cleaning product for the para-wound area and allow it to air dry before the wound kit is applied. If you are using a non-rinse wound cleanser, you may need to rinse with normal saline or sterile water. The skin needs to be rinsed and dry in order to get proper adhesion of the wound kit. To help protect the wound margins, the use of a skin preparation wipe is recommended. The skin should be allowed to dry. This also will help with the adherence of the wound kit to the skin. Thin film dressing should not be used, as it will cause the dressing to leak air when it is subjected to negative pressure. Before opening the wound kit, check the label to ensure you have the correct product and it is not expired. Expiration is one year after the manufacturing date on the package. Wound kits should be chosen based on wound, size, location, and amount of drainage. The wound kit size and absorbency are labeled on each package. Once you've confirmed the correct wound kit, open the package by grasping the nicked corner of the package and pulling. After the package is open, remove the contents. Next, connect the pigtail tubing by folding the wound kit in half with the pad side in and push the end of the pigtail tubing over the wound kit port. The first step in applying the wound kit is to remove the release liner from the back of the wound kit, taking care not to dislodge the gasket. This will expose the adhesive side of the wound kit and the sealing gasket. Next, carefully place the wound kit over the wound, ensuring the absorbent pad is aligned with the wound and placed as distal to the port as possible so as to obtain maximum pad absorption. You will also want to ensure the pump port is in an appropriate spot with the port facing toward the pump. Once placement is established, use a finger to place gentle pressure in the middle of the wound kit until the wound kit contact layer and wound base interface. This will provide enough slack in the wound kit to allow it to conform to the wound when negative pressure is applied without pulling on the para-wound area. Next, begin sealing the gasket by gently pressing on the gasket with your fingertips. Care should be taken to not stretch the wound kit. Try to minimize wrinkles during this process, but it is much better to have some wrinkles than to stretch the wound kit. This could produce unintended skin trauma to the para-wound skin. Depending on the placement of the wound kit on the body, you may actually need to create gasket-to-gasket -gasket pleats in the gasket to accommodate the anatomy. You may also place tape over the pleats to help prevent the wound kit from dislodging. After the gasket is sealed, remove the remaining release liners and secure the adhesive border to the skin. Once the wound kit is attached, push down with fingers along the perimeter of the gasket, pressing firmly to create an airtight seal. The application of negative pressure will cause the wound kit to conform to the surface of the wound. Once you have finished applying a Calypto medical wound kit, it is time to attach the wound kit to the pump. Grasp the end of the pigtail tubing that isn't attached to the wound kit in one hand and the black connector port at the bottom of the pump tubing in the other. 
gently push these two ends together. You will hear a soft click that ensures the connection is secure. When first starting a patient on Calypto Medical's negative pressure wound therapy, the wound kit should be changed within 48 hours. If there is a lot of drainage, you may want to check the wound kit sooner to prevent oversaturation. Subsequent wound kit changes may occur at longer intervals if the drainage is contained and the seal is maintained. However, wound kits should be changed at least twice a week. If a wound kit is sticking to a wound, moisten the wound kit with saline prior to removal. And of course, dispose of all wound kits according to the facility's protocol. When using a Calypto medical wound kit on a leg ulcer, edema must be controlled prior to use and kept under control for the duration of the treatment. This system is compatible with various compression wraps, pumps, and stockings. If a wound kit is applied over a new graft or bioengineered tissue, there are special considerations. Take special care when changing wound kits so the graft is not dislodged. If absolutely necessary, the wound kit may be removed from the top one layer at a time, leaving the silver lawn on the wound. This video is intended to be a resource for wound care professionals learning to use the NPD-1000 Negative Pressure Wound Therapy System from Calypto Medical. If you have questions after watching this video, please contact your local Calypto Medical representative.